Hi, child of God, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful Word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. All the content that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I encourage you, if you're a believer, subscribe to this channel. So every time Satan tries to do anything around anybody, he's not a negotiation. He's an illegal occupant. So you show up in the name of Jesus, you kick him out. And he has no choice but to obey. Because he doesn't have legality to function where he's trying to occupy. Now when you are dealing with a prince, a prince has a body. So a prince does not possess men. A prince exercises dominion over territory so that he will enslave men. So when you confront a prince, you are not casting him out. There is nowhere to cast him to. Jesus himself was fasting. After 40 days and 40 nights, Satan showed up. You will think that's when he's most anointed. And Satan began to engage him. Why didn't the anointing affect him? Because the man had his own body that he was wearing. So when you are dealing with princes, you need to understand that they have certain levels of legality. And the legality princes work with are the negotiations they have with men. So their job is to possess territories. And I have taught you before, if you study Ephesians chapter 6, let's take it from verse 10. This is Paul speaking, you know, this man understands grace. He understands the authority of a believer. But he's showing you dynamics of warfare that if you don't understand, you'll be a victim. He said, finally, after he has taught them everything about new creation, he said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I wish I had time to deal with power. Because the kind of power he was talking here is advanced dimension of power. At this level, he has moved from dunamis. At this level, he's talking Iskus and Kratos. Those are men who understand operations in the spirit realm. He said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Next verse. He said, put on. And you are about to enter a warrior, a warrior zone. He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. These are not demons. These are princes. Next verse. He said, for we wrestle. We don't cast out. We cast out demons. When we meet princes, we wrestle. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers are you seeing that they are calling some of these guys rulers rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places we wrestle hope you know if they cast out princes <laughs> would have stood on the altar here and say the prince of corruption leave nigeria <laughs> they, they don't possess people so there's nothing to cast out they exercise dominion over territories we would have showed up and said, the demon of prostitution, leave. The demon would have gone, but it's not a demon. This is a prince. He negotiates with men. And using their will, he finds authority into a territory. So if you want to prevail in that territory, you must be ready to war. Because there is a dark cloud over that territory that you must rise above if you will exercise dominion. Now, when you study these wars in detail, a principality is a prince that comes first. It's derived from the word principle. And so these princes, they are like the first rank among the realms of fallen angels. So every time they want to take a territory, is principalities they send first. Who are principalities? The word principality is the word al -K. It means an entity that has authority to exercise dominion through negotiation. So when a principality comes to this territory, he won't come into the land and start trying to enforce dominion. There's no legality. So what he will do first is to find out the people that have legality and jurisdiction. So he will go to you using the window of your gift. He will enter in negotiation. So those of you who are prophetic, for example, you can pick signals in the spirit. And so the principality knows that you respond to frequencies. So what he will do is that he will check to find out your lust. If he discovers your lust, he will now come into negotiation. Is that not what he was doing with Jesus on the mountain? If you are the son of God, turn these stones to bread. He was looking for appetite that he will exploit. But unfortunately, the one he met, all the appetites are dead. 
You see the problem we have? Why we will keep fighting? There are some of us who are prophets who still love women and love fornication. So when they show up, they will look for those ones and they will negotiate with them. And those ones will open the gates for the territory and so they will enter the land. They will go to some who are apostolic in nature, who have authority and they will go through the loss of power. If you want to be the strongest man, just add pride to what you are doing. Add exaggeration to what you are doing. Add lies to what you are doing. You can come to a herbalist and you see that people who have jurisdiction over territories enter negotiation. The moment they secure their allegiance, those people become a bandwidth and a radar through which the princes can enter the land. And the moment they are done, then the powers come. The word powers, there is the word exousia. And what those ones do is that they are the ones who create addiction. So you are a prophet. You fed. You ask God to forgive you. After three months, the guy showed up and said, this thing is a cycle. You fall again. You ask God to forgive you. After two years, it becomes your lifestyle. So what you do is that you create a system that manages fornication around you. So when you are preaching, you may stand here and be shouting, I decree you will prosper. They are using your frequency to enter the land. Everybody you are speaking over, they can enter the people because their hearts are open to you. And so as you declare, they use you as a channel to enter the people. And after a while, you discover these same people go to government. These same people go to their academia. These same people go to economy. And they carry the same energy of seduction. So when the guy goes to his job, he sees a negotiation of 2 million. They say, add one zero to make it 20 million. He can't reject it because he has come under the same government. So he will compromise. And before you know what is happening, they web themselves into system. And those powers will create those addictions for you to remain there. A young lady wants to make her hair. She goes stand on the road. Somebody picks her up, gives her 50,000. She says it's just for her. Some even say it's for school fees. After she pays her school fees, she doesn't know why the next Friday or Saturday, she still goes back there. An addiction has come. A power has come. So when the principality finishes, he steps aside and the power shows up. And the power begins to function. When the power functions, after a while, the next guy shows up. The ruler of the darkness. The word ruler is the word magistrate. These ones are law makers. They write law. So you can come to certain territories, you discover that women never marry. The moment they are 22, they must give birth to a child outside wedlock. It's a law. If you enter that territory, for you to overcome that thing, your priesthood must be higher than the cloud of darkness. So your own warfare is to refuse that that manipulation will dominate you. You come to certain territories, you find out that people just, just go mad. And when you check, every young man from the age of 19 is high on codeine, is high on cocaine. And they think they are loving it. No, a law has been written. A law. Somebody told me some, some years ago, he was fasting and praying all night. He now relocated. See, before you relocate, ask God though. You may lose your authority and rank in the spirit just by relocation. He had not built capacity. He now relocated to a territory. And when he came there, there was the energy of seduction everywhere. He tried to pray. Prayer became difficult. Ah, is it not me that just pray five minutes have ascended? What's going on? Okay, so maybe he was tired. And the next day he rested to pray. When he wanted to pray, he didn't know that the energy level in that territory was different. The gradient had changed. He couldn't pray. After two weeks, he discovered that lust had entered his soul. In one more time, he too was looking for a girlfriend. What turned an intercessor to a harlot? It was a territorial influence. He came into a territory where he didn't have stature to pierce through the cloud. He came into a place where his set of all trances could not disarm the prison. You know, you can be living where intercessors are and they have opened the atmosphere. So you show up, you are praying 10 minutes, you see a vision. You say, yes, we are seers. You can even start a ministry and say, you know, uh, the Lord has sent us to a generation. It's that when your pride now moves you to a territory where those gatekeepers are not around. Oh, 
Thank you so much for engaging this video to the end. Please, before you leave, give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. One more thing. Share this message with others to bless them. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Believers Global TV. God bless you richly as you support us. See you in our next video. We love you and celebrate you.